Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat sore, good afternoon, welcome to BRGM Podcast. And today, this afternoon, we would like to talk about the um, involvement of the Australian government, especially the Australian student, OC students, um, who wants to know about the PRGM activities, especially what we are doing is uh, the pitland restorations. Now, with us, um, Ibu Elske or Mrs. Elske van der Flirt. She is Associate Professor and Director of the Center for Communication and Social Change, School of Communication and Arts from the University of Queensland. Good afternoon. Bu Elske. Good afternoon, Padidi. Yeah, we know that you organize and coordinate Queensland University students to come here to visit uh, BRGM, especially in the location that we are working on the um, pitland restorations. And what is the purpose of the visit and the assignment? For the students. Uh, first, thank you for having me. Um, yeah. So we are here on a project that's called the Peatley Project, which which Peatley. stands for uh, Peatland Community Engagement oh, okay. and Transdisciplinary Learning, mm -hmm. which is a project we designed about four years ago mm -hmm. um, with funding from the New Colombo Plan of the Department of Foreign oh. Affairs and Trade of the mm -hmm. Australian Government. Um, and the, it, it, it's a, the New Colombo Plan is a short mobility funding plan. So it gives travel grants to students, to Australian mm -hmm. domestic undergraduate students okay. to experience um, uh, work and life in, a, in one of our neighboring countries. Oh, interesting. So yeah. what the Pitley Project uh, uh, wants to do is expose students from different mm -hmm. disciplines, different, uh, mm -hmm. different programs, uh, to a complex situation uh, like peatland restoration. Mm -hmm. um, the Pitley project engages students from mm -hmm. different disciplines or programs, and together they have to unravel the complex situation mm -hmm. that is involved mm -hmm. with, uh, you know, with peatland degradation and restoration efforts. So, so their task is to conduct a multi-stakeholder mm -hmm. consultation process with uh, you know, with the departments at central level, mm -hmm. provincial level, and Cabo Paten level, and then they will be in the communities as well and talk to farmers, to the mm -hmm. restoration groups, to the village leaders, to try to identify how the community can be more strongly mm -hmm. engaged, particularly mm -hmm. for future sustainable um, continuation of the peatland restoration agencies once, you know, mm -hmm. the BIGM, mm -hmm. of course, is phasing out. And then... <clears throat> what do you expect from the students when they completed their task in Indonesia, visiting their location, talking to the farmers, watching what BRGM is doing in uh, restore the pitlands? So when they come back to Australia, what is the expectation yeah. uh, from them? Well, first, the first expectation is they come back to Jakarta and report back to oh, you. Yeah. So sure. they, will have to, they will have to do that mm -hmm. analysis ba based on their multi-stakeholder consultation and, and come up with some recommendations how mm -hmm. maybe how, uh, how, the, the rest, the, how the community can be, you know, continues to, continue to be uh, engaged for sustainable implementation, even beyond, you know, the program. Um, so they will have to write a report mm. for the BRGM, and then each of them will have assignments for their own U, uh, UQ courses, where mm. they, you know, whether it's research or whether it's an internship, they have to write a reflect, reflections. And for me, they have to write some what I call impression stories mm -hmm. 
of mm-hmm. just the experiences, and we usually mm-hmm. publish some of those at our at the website at UQ. Um, some even want uh, you know, want to develop some um, some small articles mm-hmm. that go in in local blogs mm-hmm. or or in other places. Mm-hmm. And definitely the the NCP program, yeah. they're always very happy to receive some of those stories mm-hmm. and. Uh, um, and hear about the partners that host our students mm-hmm. uh, for this short mobility. That's good life. Hips good. Very good. <laughs> and then, if we are talking the um, activities of the Queensland University students, does the government, uh, Australian government, know well about um, what you are doing in, in Indonesia? Well, they are funding it. So ah, first of all, they of know course, yeah. they know from the proposal that mm. we work with the BRGM. Um, uh, they support that. They know it's an important ah, uh, Indonesian government cool. body. Mm-hmm. We also work, uh, you know, include mm. University of Indonesia, which is an important mm. partner, particularly for UQ and for other Australian universities who help facilitate yeah. and, uh, you know, and, and, and offer some students to be buddies in the field to, uh, to translate, of course. Um, um, so yes, they they definitely yeah. find that that those kind of relations very important. And mm. for our students, it's important to build those networks mm. and connections with different organizations mm. because who knows in the future once they graduate, mm. they may want to come back to ah, Indonesia, Indonesia to either work or do uh, an exchange semester in a master's program or an internship. So so they are already more familiar mm-hmm. with you know with the institutions mm. and with the culture and uh, and it enhances mm. their employability. Yeah. So. Mm. So it's okay. Uh, I'm convinced that the uh, Australian government also knows well about, about what BRGM is doing, because um, Indonesia is not just uh, talking, promising about how to protect the natural resources, but we also do some things that we are going to restore or rehabilitate our uh, degraded nature. This is very important. And then <clears throat> we're talking about the pitly one, two, three, four. Now it's the pitly four. That's right. Actually, who wrote down the proposal at the time? So I did that. Oh. So, you know, I have to do the hard work. Well done. Um, it, came, it came about because I was um, visiting, well, I visit Indonesia mm. every year, but... Mm. Uh, but, but I was invited on an executive mission mm. uh, of the University of Queensland, mm. you know, to Indonesia, and it was actually our chief uh, representative at the t- mm. at the time, Ibu mm. Sofi Arenta, who suggested, based on the kind of work I do with Indonesian mm. partners, to design an NCP project to get our students involved in analyzing these complex problems, mm. you know, from mm. these different disciplines and transdisciplinary mm. learning. And she connected me with uh, Pa'alu Dohong, oh, who is at the time yes, was the at the BIGN, but minister. now he's the yeah, vice minister. Yeah. And Pa'alu is, of course, an alumni from the University of Queensland. He did his no PhD wonder. there. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, we discussed whether the BIGN would be mm. a good host. Mm. And uh, we agreed, yes, it provides so many fantastic opportunities for mm. the students mm. to learn about complex issues. You know, that it's not only technical, but there's a lot of social problems, mm. uh, you know, community community engagement problems and that would be really good um, good opportunity mm-hmm. for students to learn and maybe mm-hmm. also provide some new different perspectives to the BRGM mm-hmm. um, uh, team yeah so we wrote the proposal we got the funding for um, for you know for for uh, how many students was this for uh, for 40 stu- uh, Sorry, for 30 students, 30 students. which of course yeah. we started in 2019 mm. with two cohorts but then COVID hit and mm. we couldn't travel for a while. So we're now just uh, doing the last two, um, two rounds mm. um, last semester and this semester. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. I, <clears throat> what is, uh, I'm very, very, very proud of being visited by international students, by the Australian students. And then I consider that what, the uh, Queensland University has done is a, a, a kind of a, the first, the first initiative, a first crack. Is the possibilities for other university to follow the what the um, Queensland U- University has done? 
Well, definitely, every university can submit proposals ah, for the short okay. mobility for Super the short mobility mm. funding um, uh, to the NCP program, and many do. Um, but what I have seen is not many yet who do these more transdisciplinary uh -huh. learning uh, project and and very, you know, and mm -hmm. throw students out in villages. Um, it is a lot of work to manage it and to, uh, as we say, um, herding cats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, okay. Because you are dealing with so many different students mm -hmm. and different uh, different programs mm -hmm. that they are in. So, but I think it's really worth it. And I'm, you know, because the students learn so much for, uh, of it. Yeah. It's such an eye opener. And so I'm really grateful for the BRGM to provide them that, that opportunity. Yep. It is really worth it. Hi. Absolutely. And then. If the uh, BRGM stands for Badan Restorasi Gambut and Mangrove, it means that we are now doing the uh, mangrove rehabilitation as well. So is there any possibility for you, probably <laughs> during your idle time or for the next period, you are going to write down the proposal about the mangrove rehabilitation in Indonesia. Uh, there's always a possibility. Yeah. If you would want, if you would uh, want us to continue, yeah. we can we can surely do that. In fact, I do have uh, funding for between five mm -hmm. and six, but that will be focused on poverty alleviation on mm -hmm. the Sustainable Development Goal One, mm -hmm. in collaboration with uh, the uh, with Brin and the University of Brawijaya. Mm -hmm. So we will be oh. in uh, in Lombok, in the area that got hit by the earthquake a few years ago. So again, it's another complex mm -hmm. problem yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that students uh, will be unraveling from mm -hmm. different disciplinary perspectives. Yeah. But uh, at the moment, we uh, we need to develop a proposal for, proposals for 2025. Yeah. So if you think you're still going to be around, yeah. we can surely look into a, okay. a proposal. You're talking about the 2025. And then you understand about the strategy of BRGM for doing the um, pit and re restoration. One is rewetting. We are utilizing the um, deep wells and then we built canal blocking. We, uh, the second thing, we do the revegetations for the open area of wetland. And the third one, it's very important, last but not least, is the um, revitalization of a livelihood. So what do you think the three um, strategies are related to the uh, beyond 2024 for the future? Um, well, of course, you need your rewetting and the revegetation yeah. to restore the lands, yeah. and it's and as you know, many of your staff also say, it's not just only the technical uh, expertise that you bring; it's also about organizing the communities and the mm. local uh, local agencies to continue doing that mm. because you can't do it just once and stop doing it. Um, in terms of the revitalization, that of, of course involves many yeah. partners because you know if that's about if it's about the livestock, you mm. know you need to work with the Department of Livestock. It's about mm. growing uh, crops that you mm. have to work with the Department of Agriculture mm. or or with, with other groups. So and that requires a lot of coordination and a lot of education mm. and training. And what I always find most important to, you know, particularly in the process, and that's kind of the type of projects I've been involved a lot, you know, agriculture projects that were transitioning farmers through, you know, more sustainable practices, is how do we first enhance farmers' critical skills? You know, how can they work out what's the best for them? You know, under the conditions, they have to understand the ecology of their lands. They have to understand, you know, the opportunities, the market opportunities. They have to be able to do an economic analysis before you can even tell yeah. them what they should be doing. So that requires a totally different set of skills of facilitating you know, farmer groups or community groups as only you know, giving them technical knowledge. Mm -hmm. and, and that's going to be very important, I think, for an exit strategy that those facilitation ah, mechanisms and that expertise is locally on the ground to support those groups in that ongoing change process, transition from, you know, utilizing the, the environment towards actually sustainably managing it while also enhancing their livelihood. Thanks, Elska.
probably this one is the last question. I'm just wondering, do you allow students to criticize BRGM or what BRGM is doing? Well, I mean, we they're, t they're learning in Australia, which yeah. and then particularly University of Queensland, we kind of pride ourselves on being, mm. you know, involved in critical uh, science. So you should not look at criticism as a negative thing. It's it's input into what is positive. Uh, okay. What see. I have to teach them only is that they use the right language, language. that it's acceptable yeah. for you know, for Indonesian partners <laughs> or for others in the country. So yes, there might yeah. be some critical notes, yeah. but you need to read it as that it is what we call constructive criticism, mm -hmm. that they will give input in how things can be improved. And and you know as much as I do that, you know, they only get a snapshot. You know much better yeah. what is going on, but maybe some of those ideas might, might actually trigger some discussions amongst you and your team of, you know, how to do things a little bit differently. So. Yeah. Yeah, so don't take okay. it as criticism. Take oh, it as take just it as, uh, inputs. As, as input. Input yeah. Uh, yeah. to improve the exactly. BIGM improvement yeah. uh, performance. Okay, we wish you very well. And then uh, I wish you being happy and got a good result in Jambi province. Yeah, I heard that uh, the student is going to be there for learning and then watching, listening. And then what is right down of the experience. And I hope that the students are very happy to work uh, with the local uh, communities. And then we will bring back very good results about their experience with the BRGM Pitland Restoration. Thank you, Elska uh, and then. Yeah, and thank you very yeah. much for providing this op this, this uh, really unique opportunity yeah. to our students. So yeah. thank you very much, everyone. Yeah. We are lucky to have you this afternoon. Thanks, guys, uh, for watching us. This is the end of our interview with Ibu Elske. And then see you for the next uh, podcast agenda of PRGM podcast. Good afternoon. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.